Hello again, everyone. Deflect here. Fur but fair, uh, fur but fair gaming. That was a tough one to get out today. Uh, going through, I've seen a lot of posts lately. A ton of YouTubers and streamers and all this complaining about Prot Paladin. And they think it's something new. Like, they're all out there, oh, we need to do something about Prop Paladin, it's crazy, you know, we just, we're getting rid of healers, this and that. Yes, Prop Paladin is phenomenal. Phenomenal for Mythic Plus. Is it getting rid of healers? You're talking to less than 1% of the people that play the game that can do a 4 DPS run. And the 4 DPS must be off healers. So you're not really getting rid of a healer. So instead of a Holy Priest or Disc Priest, you're using a Shadow Priest. Instead of a uh, Resto Shaman, you're using an Enhancement Shaman. Like, you're not getting rid of the healers. They're switching spec to do more DPS. So this, I want to get it right out of the way. I think it's absolute nonsense that people are just sitting there. Oh, no, they're getting rid of healers. Oh, it's affecting healers so bad. No, there's not many people doing it. Less than 1% can do a basically a four dps key unless you're doing right low keys one it's less than one percent two it's only certain dungeons like cos which doesn't do healing or doesn't have a lot of healing checks in it regardless and three they're not getting rid of it it's a very specific group composition it's very specific people running it and it's the elite anyway like you can watch echo they literally did a dungeon where his guy had like 50 item level as the tank and a 20. so what are they getting rid of tanks now too because he can do it with no gear it's just absurd come on there's no way they're getting rid of healers they're not making it that healer unfriendly it's just a very high-end team with a very specific group composition can do without a healer when they have three or four off healers. Like you're running Feral Druid who can off heal. You're running, like I said, Shaman, Priest. They're, they're all off healing. Even a DK you could throw in there for self-sustained healing. Like it's, you're not getting rid of healers. You're just switching their role a bit. And again, it's only the elite. Yes, the Prot Paladin toolkit is equipped amazing to help with that. You know, you have Sack, you have Lay on Hands, you have Bop, you can bubble you have the ability to every uh two minutes for bastion of light which makes three word of glories at no cost free uh so yes paladins can be they're basically essentially equipped to be the best helping mythic plus tank they do great damage they do great healing but again like you're comparing this to other tanks druid has an option to do it but it's rng based paladin is the only one where it's not rng based you're playing a Guardian Druid, you have a couple abilities that will heal the party. One is RNG based, one just happens at a certain amount of raid, so it's not RNG based. But you you can do that as well. Uh, DKs just have so much self-sustained healing. Like you want to break healing meters, you play DK. 150 case of self self-sustained healing for dungeons. Like the numbers are pulling at the elite end it is just crazy. So I don't know. I see that a lot of these healers complain that they're going to get replaced. They're not getting replaced. There's, there, Zymok did this in Shadowlands. If you watch him in Shadowlands, he was able to do uh, high keys. And this is what he does. He does high keys as a paladin with four DPS. It's nothing new. So people are just complaining about it now because someone hit a 28. And I think I don't know if it was Zymok or not. Um, but the, yeah, he's been doing this in Shadowlands. He was doing it early in Shadowlands. You can watch all his videos. He's very good at Paladin. He's very good with the people he puts around him to play. So again, it's, you know, specific group. Is it playing with no healer if you have four off healers? I don't know about that. Like I'm watching Enhancement Shamans pull 30k, 40k on pulls. Watching Priests pull like 35k on pulls with Vampiric Embrace, I believe it is. Uh, so it's just changing who's doing the healing and the classes are still very viable. Like you're still going with a high healing class. Um, unfortunately, Resto Druid, um, you would have to switch to Feral. So another one, like you're just switching to the DPS version of the class you're playing now. It's a lot cat weave. I don't know. I see so many people criticizing that people can do a uh, one tank, no healer. And yes, my a side note, my UI is ugly as crap. I haven't been working on it lately. I just threw one up and away I went. <laughs> um, that's just a side note to get off topic. But yeah, I think it's totally fine. 
elite players can do that. They have the option to do that if they want to do that. Uh, one, you have to have a good enough paladin to do that. Two, you have to have a good enough group so they're not taking unnecessary damage. And three, uh, every, like you have to have a certain amount of off healers to get through some of the damage. So, yes, the elite can do it. Is everyone going to do it? Absolutely not. Uh, the more people complain about it, I don't know if Blizzard's going to do anything with the paladin healing, but that's the way they're built. They're built to off heal the group. They're, that's what their tank tanking thing does they're one of the not one of the least mobile tanks um they don't have some crazy things they have a, a couple defensives that why in raid that's why in raid they're they're not overly great in raid because they do get crushed by sustained like uh, just sustained damage it just happens but other than that the healers are going to be fine this these rants i see of youtubers just saying oh watch out no key or no healer keys again I think it's a bit much uh, for what's going on. Yeah, the elite can do whatever they want. They're very good at the game. That's what they do. They're professionals. Like, we shouldn't change the game based on what the professionals can do. Are we going to change all the timers for the dungeons? Because, the you know, the top 1% can do MDI in 12 minutes. So should a 12-minute be the timer now? No, of course not. That's, you know, a handful of people that are able to do that. And you don't change the game, you don't change the timers, you don't do that based on a handful of people that are very, very, extremely good at the game. That's just uh, my two cents on the topic. I wanted to make a video because I've seen a lot of bashing on this and a lot of uh, people coming out, you know, complaining about this. So if you have any questions, don't forget to, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the, you know, healer meta, what, what's going on. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, deflect, firm but fair gaming. We'll see you in the next video.